Oh, <clears throat> praise God, brothers and sisters in the Lord. I'm Pastor William from Uganda. I want to thank God for the opportunity I've got again to talk to you, the saints of God. Yeah, earlier I talked about hell, but I was brief. So today I've come to explain more about hell. Uh, there are two words that are disturbing the world. Uh, there is what we call hell and the lake of fire. So today I'm not going to talk about the lake of fire. I'm going to talk about hell. Because hell only is a bigger topic. So uh, I want us to pray. Father, I thank you for people whom you have entrusted me with. People who are listening to this testimony, may you bless them. I cover them in your precious blood. I cover this testimony in your precious blood. The devil shall not prevail. The devil shall not fight it in the name of Jesus. Even I myself, I cover under your precious blood. Father, I glorify your name. I exhort your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, today we are going to talk about hell. I want you to be attentive because hell is real. Many people are deceived that hell does not exist. Many people have been foretold that there is no eternal life, there is no hell, that once you die, that is the end. So I'm here to tell you, out of my experience, because I visited there, I went to hell many times. God showed me a lot of things there. So I'm telling you what I saw. Uh, and I believe the Spirit of God will direct you. So uh, when we talk about hell, someone was asking me, does people go to hell to get riches? Does people go to hell to get honors? Does people get to hell? No, people, they don't go to hell. The Bible says that Peter have built on you, my church, and the powers of heads, the gates of heads, shall not prevail you. Yeah, so people go to heads to get riches. They don't go to hell. So hell... Uh, is divided into two. There is a place that is called hell and there is a place that is called heads. So hell is a prison where they keep souls of people who die when they are sinner. They don't accept Jesus to be their personal savior. They go to heads, to hell. So people who want to get riches who want to get honors, who want to get money, like they want to be celebs on earth, they go to heads to get riches. So when you get to heads, you make a covenant with devil. Because I remember even me, I met devil for three, three times, I remember, three times. And the devil was, he wanted me to make a covenant with him so that he can make me, rich he can give me glory on earth but i said no you can give me riches but you cannot give me eternal life there was a great war between me and devil because i had totally denied him so people go to heads to get riches or underground world so leave it because the devil he pretends to be in love with humans. But another side of hell, heads, there is hell. Or a prison where devil keeps people who dies without Christ. And he torments them. The demons there, they don't have mercy. There is no love in hell. There is no mercy in hell. There is only hatred. There is only cry, tormenting day and night. That's what's in hell. So, my brother, 
my sister, I'm here to inform you about what I saw. I'm not telling you another person's testimony, no. I'm telling you me what I saw, what God told me. Hallelujah. So, uh, why do people go to hell? Did God create people to go to hell? No. Hell was it's a place of demons. So you, a person to go to hell, you are an intruder. Demons, they can identify you that you are not a demon. You are, you are a person. You are a spirit being. They will torment you because for them, they were not created in the image of God. And you, you are created in the image of God. So devil hates you with all his heart, with all his mind, with all his being. So what takes us to hell? It is a sin. We are going to read in the book of Galatians chapter 5. Chapter 5, we are going to start from verse 16. Book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. But I said to you, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desire of the flesh. Walk by the Spirit, you will not fulfill the desire of the flesh. So, because the flesh is fighting against the Spirit, your body is fighting against your spirit. When your spirit says that I want to go to pray, your, your body will say, I'm tired, I want to sleep. When your spirit says that I want fast, your body will say, no, I have ulcer, I have cancer, I have this, I have this, I cannot pray, I cannot fast. Yes, are we together? So, the body is fighting against the, the, the spirit. Uh -huh. We are going to go to verse 18. But... If you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Verse 19. Now the work of the flesh, the flesh is the body. Now the work of the flesh are, we are in verse 19, are, ident, are evident. Sexual immorality. Many people are overtaken by sexual immorality, including pornography. Some of you, you watch pornography on the move on the on the internet, on the YouTube, on the wherever you watch, you read the pornographic books. The Bible hates it. Uh huh. Another thing, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, fit of anger, rivalries, division. Envy, drunkardness, all things like this. Eh, I'm telling you, my brother. Mm -hmm. Verse 20, we, we are on verse 21. Envy, drunkardness, orgies, and things like this. I warn you. I warn you. As I warned you before. Mm -hmm. Those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you are doing what the Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 5 from verse 19, eh? from verse 19 up to verse 21, the Bible says you will not inherit the kingdom of God. That means they are only two kingdoms in the spiritual realm. There is a kingdom of God and a kingdom of Satan. If you are not going to the kingdom of God, that means you are going to the kingdom of Satan. There is no, no money's land in the spiritual realm. So my brother, my sister, check your life. God wants to save you. God wants to give you eternal life. Hell is real. Devil want to take people to hell because the devil was in heaven. He know how good heaven is. My brother, my sister. I know you were listening to me. You were struggling with habits. I want you to touch your, your, your in your chest like this. I want you to close your eyes. 
I want you to come back to your first love because you are a child of God. Devil does not create people. He just kills. But it's God who creates people. He created you in his image. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to say, God, forgive me. Forgive me the life I've been living in. Now I've come to know that I'm your child. I want you to repent before God. Repent that sin you've been doing. If you've been fornicating, I want you to repent before God. If you've been uh, masturbating, I want you to repent before God. If you've been killing people, I want you to repent before God. If you have been doing anything, oh my gosh, I feel the grace of God is sufficient to forgive everyone. There is no sin that is above the power, that is above the blood of Jesus. Jesus died for all kind of sins. Mark was shamed. Repent before him. Repent before him. Repent before him. Repent that sin. Repent that sin. The sins of your fathers. The sins of your parents. The sins you did in your youth age. The sins you have been doing. Repent before God. Repent. I feel the grace of God is touching you wherever you are. They is touching you wherever you are in the name of Jesus. Father, we repent before before you on behalf of people who are listening to me, on behalf of people who are watching me. May you forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh God. Oh, we have crucified you the second time, but forgive us. Forgive us, O oh God. Purify us with your blood. 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 We make a new covenant with you, Jesus. We make a new covenant with you, Jesus. We ask you, Father, lead us, O God. On our, on our own, we cannot make it. But let your spirit help us to make it, O God, to walk in your ways. In the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your hands in air if you have prayed this prayer and i want you to kneel, to kneel down on your feet i'm going to pray for you father i pray for every woman for every man who is listening to this testimony wherever they are in the name of jesus i pray for them may your spirit meet them i release your power to meet them those one who have been fighting and they want to come out of the devil of the power of darkness and they are looking for anyone who can help them father you have raised me father so that i can help them i release your power to meet them i release your glory to meet them. I release your grace to meet them in the name of Jesus. May you set them free. May you set them free. May you set them free. May you set them free in the name of Jesus. Father, I glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I want to pray for the sick people who are sick, who have cancer, who have ulcers, who have high blood pressure, who have um, headache. Touch wherever you feel the pain is. The power of God is there to meet you. The power of God is there to meet you. And I want you after this prayer, you go to the doctors for medical checkup. Where the doctor said that this thing, it is impossible. After this prayer, you go back to that doctor and say that doctor, check me. They have prayed for me. Check me. If you have HIV AIDS, I want you to go to that doctor and say, doctor, you, last time you checked me and you said that I have uh, um, HIV positive. You check me now. More, uh, if you have uh, coronavirus, I want you to go back to that doctor and say, doctor, check me. If you have um, cancer, any sickness you have, because the power of God is here to heal you. So close your eyes and lift up your hands and touch where you feel the pain. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, because by your stripes we are healed. 
I pray for people who have HIV AIDS, who have ulcers, who have cancer, who have headache, who have oh, makashem, every kind of disease in their bodies. I command them to be healed. I command the lame to walk. I command the dead to rise in the name of Jesus. I command the power of God to be manifested wherever these people are. People who are listening to this testimony, I command the anointing of Holy Spirit to meet them, to touch them in the name of Jesus. Father, I glorify your name. Oh, May your glory be glorified. May your power be glorified. May your anointing be glorified. May your wisdom be glorified. Oh, Start thanking God. Start thanking God. Start thanking God. You have been sick. Who have been um, possessed by the power of darkness? Who have been tormented? Who have been getting bad dreams? I want you to start thanking God. Start thanking God. You thank God. Father, we glorify your name. We exhort you because you are only God who can heal our sickness, who can heal our diseases. Oh, machine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for people who want to speak in new tongues. I want to close your eyes and you start speaking those words you are feeling in your heart. Father, I release new tongues. I release new tongues. I release new tongues. I release the baptism of tongues. I release the baptism of Holy Spirit. You be baptized in the Spirit of God. You be baptized in the power. You be baptized in the power of God. You be baptized in the power. I release the anointing of God. I release the glory of God. I release the power of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. If you want to surrender your life to God, I want you to put your hands in your chest. Say, Oh Lord Jesus, today I've known that you came and you died for my sins. I want you to forgive me. Take out my names from the book of death and put write it in the book of life. Forgive me all my sins. I denounce the devil. I accept you, Jesus, to be my personal savior. From today, I'm your son, I'm your child, I'm your daughter. Give me your spirit to lead me until the day you come back, you find me when I'm worthy. In the name of Jesus, I prayed. Amen. Father, I pray for people who have accepted you to be their personal savior. Lead them. Rebuke the devourer. Set them free from the power of clans, from uh, demonic power. Those one who have been dreaming snakes. Those one who have been dreaming uh, goats, cows, uh, dead people. In the name of Jesus, I set them free. May you visit them, Father, and heal their lives. Lead them to right churches, to the right pastors, in the name of Jesus. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sisters. Bye-bye.
is more different. Let us repent and come back to God. Let us repent and come back to God. I see you Christ is crying. He died for you. Na yo ganye kale repent. Repent and come back to God. Repent, repent and come back to God. Read the one, read the one, read your Bible. Read the one, read the one to pull Satan down. Read the one, read the one. Read your Bible, read the word, read the word to pull Satan down. Read the word, read the word, read your Bible, read the word, read the word to pull Satan down. Read the word, read the word, read your Bible, read the word. Read the word to pull Satan down. Read the word, read the word, read your Bible.